What's that? Oh, it's awesome. It was nice to get back out there and uh, a little rusty. I forgot that we're actually playing in the NFL and it's not like college days or a couple of years ago. I have to kind of really get back into the swing of things. Uh, it was good to get back out there, got to play with a bunch of the young guys and, uh, you know, just trying to get them lined up and, you know, trying to remember what I'm doing myself half the time out there. But it was it, felt, it was good. It felt good to get out there. Before this summer, when was the last time you played linebacker? Um, I want to say probably 2017 or 18. The years kind of run together for me now. But um, it's been a while. I, I've done it casually a couple times last year and year before in practice, but nothing uh, at this level. But, um, you know, I have great, you know, teachers from Bobby to, you know, Coach JG. And, you know, it's it's been uh, an easy transition. How does this work during the week? Are you going back and forth between the linebacker room and the right back room? Yeah, uh, I was a little uh, hairy this week because I was doing a little bit of offensive stuff. And then, um, you know, I would go to the defensive room and get called a traitor or whatever and, uh, you know, have to deal with that. And, um, you know, I kind of knew I was going to have to do a little bit of fullback stuff. So I just kind of brushed up. Luckily, I was able to kind of do that in the past couple of weeks. So I, I knew that stuff and then, um, you know, did mostly linebacker stuff to get in the swing of things. You were joking this week that the young guys don't know you used to play linebacker, so you can impress them, or have they figured it out yet? I don't. I hope not. Um, but uh, you know, the uh, I, I don't think a lot of them do know that I used to play linebacker. So I'll try to keep that a mystery as long as possible. And they're like, "Wow, that's pretty cool that you're able to just do that." But mm -hmm. I've uh, you know had a little bit of experience doing it. How long does it take to, to brush the instincts off where you can shoot the gap into the backfield like that to make those sort of plays and see that sort of stuff come on? How, how long does it take to kind of recapture that kind of thing? Yeah, I mean, I think like the first series, I was kind of rusty just getting off blocks and kind of seeing everything. And and uh, you kind of are able to narrow it down as you go. Um, you know, I was just trying to get settled in. And it's, uh, you know, a little bit more just, you know, trying to get everyone lined up and, and get the call in. and. Um, you know, it, it takes some time, but once you get settled in, it's, you know, like I've always played, I guess. So are you just ruining the offense and practice with your first snap? I try not to. I uh, They give me too much credit. They just assume that I know all the plays, but I pretty much just know what I'm supposed to be doing if I'm playing fullback. So, um, but that's another, you know, we can keep that a mystery. But I hear things and I recognize them from meetings. I'm like, oh, I, I kind of remember them talking about that. And if I make a play, they assumed I cheated on it. So it's kind of, what are you going to do? What, what's been your view of what DJ Dallas has done this summer? It's been amazing. Um, you know, from, I mean, the, it'll be fun to see it tomorrow. It's hard to kind of, when you're out there, but like his kick return was amazing today and he's making plays, catching the ball out of the backfield and running. Um, it's awesome. I mean, you know, obviously we have a lot of great backs. So sometimes, you know, last year maybe he gets lost in the shuffle with guys um, because, you know, we have dominant running backs. And, you know, I think what he's done in the preseason has been awesome. And he's really shown a lot of growth, uh, I think, over the year. Is he, is he one that sort of embraced the special teams aspect of things from when he first got here? Yeah, yeah. I, I think he always did. But I think he's taken it to the next step. Because um, I think he, he even blocked a punt tonight, too. Um, and that's something you need. You know, I try to, you know, tell young guys, especially running backs, you know, those kind of positions, like, if you're like a two, a three, a four running back, you have to be able to contribute on that kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, we count on guys like that on the, on special teams. And for him to step up and make plays like that, that's huge for our team. Did, did you see what happened, notice what happened to Ben? It didn't it look like he was away from the play when that happened? Uh, you know, I, I didn't see it. You just hate to see it any time, especially on, you know, a, a play that's a touchback like that in the preseason. It's it's rough to see in someone that's a cornerstone of the special teams and, you know, a great linebacker in his own right. Um, you know, it's awful to see something like that. And I hope he's okay. Uh, haven't really heard, but, you know, it, it's never good when someone gets carted off like that. Thanks, Josh. Thanks, Josh. Thanks, Josh. Thanks, Josh. Thanks, Josh.